Metanephric adenomas occur more frequently in females than males, with a ratio of approximately one male to two females. The average age at which they occur is around the fifth and sixth decades. Having said that, they can occur at any age from childhood through to the elderly. And in fact, they are the most common epithelial tumours of the kidney in children. The typical size is 3 to 6 centimetres and 5.5 centimetres across. On average, they are benign tumours and they are usually unilateral. And in 90% of cases, there is a mutation of the BRAF gene. In 50% of cases, metanephric adenomas are an incidental finding, but they may present with flank pain, abdominal pain, polycythemia, fever and hematuria. Grossly, they are well circumscribed but not encapsulated. They have a yellow or tan or sometimes grey cut surface. Occasional cysts may be seen and also foci of necrosis, calcification and haemorrhage may be present. Histologically, the tumour has the appearance at low power of solid sheets of cells, but on higher power they are seen to be highly cellular with small acini, papillary and glomeruloid structures. The stroma may show hyalinization and foci of osteoid, and sometimes somoma bodies may be present and larger areas of calcification. The cells have scanty cytoplasm with regular nuclei and inconspicuous nucleoli. Mitotic figures are either absent or rare. This is a low power view of a kidney biopsy containing a metanephric adenoma. The striking feature is how well demarcated the tumour is from adjacent normal kidney. This is another metanephric adenoma and here you can see good tubule formation. And this area shows glomeruloid structures that are frequently seen in metanephric adenomas. This area shows hyalinization of the stroma and also the presence of somoma bodies and these are the small purple areas that are foci of microscopic calcification often associated with papillary tumours. The purple structure in this area is a large focus of calcification. On a higher power, the nuclei are seen to be small and regular with either inconspicuous or absent nucleoli and also mitotic figures are not seen. In children, the main differential diagnosis of a metanephric adenoma is a Wilms tumour but in adults the differential diagnosis would be a papillary renal cell carcinoma type 1. Useful immuno for metanephric adenomas are positive WT1 and CD57 and negative race maze and CK7. This is the WT1 showing strong positive staining. Here is the CD57 again showing strong positive staining. And finally CK7 is negative and race maze is also negative. 